that. Sorry. <laughs> Are you doing music to play beforehand? Uh, I'll do it. <clears throat> All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. Ready? All right. What's up, everybody? Tony Pizza Guy here. We're joined by my colleague, Jack Lubash. Jack. Jack. Uh, we, we have to talk about this because this is an article that I, I caught today. And it, there was so much. It was actually so popular today that it was actually trending. And I want to talk about this because uh, this is a popular topic. Like, everybody says TNA is going to go out of business, right? Like, you always think, like, TNA is going to die, right? Isn't that your thought right now? Like, is TNA still a company? Who? <laughs> uh, you, you know, that's the way I felt lately. I mean, TNA, I haven't watched it for God knows how long. I maybe watch bits of bits of it here and there, but it's like the most god-awful stuff that's in professional wrestling, and I figured they were well on their way out the door. So, And the, and the problem is, is that TNA's not bad now. It's just that they've changed their formats like thousands of times that they just don't know what they want to be. I think now they finally found something that's working for them, but they tape it like 10 months in advance, so that's also a bad thing for them to do. Mm -hmm. But we were wondering, are they going to get a TV deal? Is it going to go out of business? A lot of people thought they weren't ever going to find a TV deal because Spike TV didn't want to renew their contract. And uh, it just seemed really bad because a lot of networks did not want to pick up professional wrestling because if you look at the way WWE is, uh, because that's what every basic cable provider would say well WWE isn't doing very well look at their their network the stocks all that stuff is going way down so why would a network want to pick up TNA wrestling you know with the WWE being shitty TNA being shitty uh Ring of Honor not doing that great but uh today TNA confirms that Impact Wrestling is moving to Destination America and I know you're probably wondering what the hell is Destination America any any clue I have no idea what Destination America is sounds like the name of one of their pay-per-views Destination America. They do have a paper called Destination X on Maybe. Destination America. That's probably what sold Destination America on signing TNA. Hey, they have a pay-per-view called Destination X. So let's read the uh, official press release, and then we'll talk about this. TNA announced today that they are officially heading to Destination America in 2015. The network will be the new home for Impact Wrestling Show. In the press release, they mentioned some of the top stars as Jeff Hardy, Bobby Roode, Kurt Angle, Bobby Lashley, and Gail Kim. Angle and Kim's TNA deals have expired, so it would seem that they have re-signed with the company. As we know, with Kurt Angle, uh, he was trying to negotiate with WWE. He wanted that Brock Lesnar part-time schedule, and they said, nope, if you're coming back to WWE, you got to work full-time. So uh, he got that shitty deal. So uh, his TNA, he said, whatever he signs with, this is the last uh, wrestling he's going to do. So he's going to finish up his contract in TNA. Um, and the press release does not announce the debut date what night the show will air, or if they're staying a two-hour product, but here is the full announcement. Discovery Communication acquires exclusive broadcasting rights to the Top Professional Wrestling League. Not the top, but Top Professional Wrestling League. TNA Impact Wrestling for Destination America. Discovery Communication. So I'm assuming that, if I'm reading this right, Discovery, like the Discovery Network, like Discovery Channel, has their own communication thing, and they own Destination America. It would make sense. Um, we'll, we'll go with that. Okay, so they, they, today they have signed a multi-year deal with TNA, Total Nonstop Action Impact Wrestling, is to bring the popular league to homes nationwide on Destination America, the only network dedicated to celebrating the people and places and stories of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of network idea is this? I don't know, man. I just it. It's like the History <laughs> Channel. History happens every day. That's the lamest. I. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> Destination America officially enters the ring with its first world premiere of Impact Wrestling in January 2015. The series features some of the biggest names of professional wrestling: Jeff Hardy, Bobby Roode, Kurt Angle, Bobby Lashley, Gail Kim. The partnership includes the U.S. premiere of additional TNA wrestling series and specials. And provides destination or discovery communications. There's so many D's in this freaking thing; it's driving me crazy. Uh, with international broadcasting rights to select regions to be announced at, at a later date, our partnership in the uniquely entertainment franchise with TNA Impact Wrestling provides a significant addition to Destination Americans' programming strategy," said blah 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 of Destination President blah 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 blah. Uh, the enduring cross 
generational enthusiast of pro wrestling is fed by millions of fans around the country. Okay, so this just goes in <laughs> to talking about this, how wrestling is awesome. This article is just as boring as the TNA product. <laughs> the, the, the problem is here is that uh, Destination America is not in Canada, so a lot of Canadian fans are upset. And one of the things I will say, whether you like TNA or not, they do have a pretty good international fan base. I know that... If you look at their UK fan base, I think that's a lot bigger than the WWE's UK fan base just because, I don't know, they do like this British boot camp thing. But what do you think? Do you think this is good for TNA or do you think they took a a, a shitty deal? Because what I'm thinking is like, you're, you're thinking of this, it's not basic cable, it's like extended cable. Because USA is actually, like if you, I think if you get like regular cable, you can get USA, mm -hmm. right? You get like 60 channels or something like but that. But if you get like, you have to have a, a DVR or something to get this because I think it's I, I googled it and looked up Cox Communications like a channel 120 something or 106 or something so you have to have that extended cable do you think this hurts TNA right now honestly no I think that I think anything is gonna help them out than where they are now TNA th this is the problem TNA shot themselves in their own foot when they were first around and remember when they were just on pay-per-view Oh, yeah, I used to buy those $10 pay-per-views. Uh, that, I think, should have been the way that they kept it. They should have kept with their... their. Uh, you had, only way you could see them is if you buy it on pay-per-view type of thing. And then they got their TV deal, which was kind of cool. You got to see their debut of the six-sided ring. I remember when I saw that, I was excited. But it, but it, l let me stop you. It was like... It was a weird like Friday afternoon for one hour on Fox Sports Network. It was such a weird thing. But you got to think about it from there. Like you know, me and you are involved with a indie wrestling league, which right? Is pretty much what TNA was. If somebody came to you with that offer and they gave you that time slot or whatever, I think you'd probably take it. Right. right and right. and I don't blame them for taking that, but this is the thing that I I, I do blame them for is that TNA. I at one time I preferred TNA over. WWE because TNA had these young no name people that were putting on these tremendous matches but then they got the TV deal and they started to like well we have to compete with WWE now so we have to buy or we have to sign all these big names so basically they were taking WWE's trash and picking it up and they were getting all these old people like Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan, Mick Foley I mean I love Mick Foley but I think he should have retired years ago but they started to bring in all these big names and forget about these young stars that put TNA on the map. And I think that was what uh, caused the downfall of TNA. So at this point, I don't think it was a bad idea for them to take this deal. It's better than the deal that they have now. Um, I'll say this, though. Spike TV, uh, I think Spike TV had their own agenda with TNA. Uh, I don't know that they ever really did any cross-promotion or really... Uh, promoting of tna other than when it was on tv i don't know that you know i don't really watch spike tv uh but i know that spike tv wanted to get bellator over a lot they had the uh bobby lashley went to bellator they brought in like they brought in all those mma stars from bellator to try and put them over on tna and that was stupid i i will give uh Spike TV some credit though because from what I heard they gave them money to get Kurt Angle in the first place so that's kind of cool with Spike TV doing that but I think uh, Destination America is going to let them be TNA and not try and unless <laughs> I'm just waiting for like one of their like home shows on Destination America <laughs> like one of those guys to show up and be like do some like weird cross promotion with like I don't even know I can't even name one of the shows that's on Destination America well is this Destination America is it an association with Discovery Channel is that what I'm getting I'm from guessing this? it's like an offshoot of like Discovery has like their thing and then they have like a couple other channels off of that I so. don't I don't know that it's really going to be allowing TNA to be the product that they originally were I mean to me Discovery Channel that's more family oriented. I don't know. You type got Shark thing. Week though. Is that Shark? Shark are Week sharks guy. family friendly? Well, I mean, it's <laughs> and you have Shark Boy. I, uh, oh, what if you get Shark Boy to show up? That, on Shark that's probably Week? the whole reason that this deal took. Uh, Shark Boy is gonna. The only stipulation of the contract is you have to make Shark Boy your champion, <laughs> which I don't, I don't even know who their champion is right now. Um, but I Bobby Roo. Uh, okay. But I think I think TNA took a deal where uh, it was either this or nothing else, and I think that's what they went for so and you can't blame them for it I, and honestly i have nothing against tna i think that i it would be 
fantastic if they could get to the the uh, caliber of WWE. So WWE could have some competition now and maybe wake up a little bit and start doing some cooler things uh, and go back to the old ways of you know WCW, WWF, the Monday Night Wars type of thing. But I don't think that'll ever happen with TNA. But here's a question: I, I I've seen people talk about this on Twitter. Uh, we have to know: Does uh, the Discovery or what is Destination America, the El Rey Network, or Sinclair Broadcasting? Which one of those companies reaches more homes? Because if the El Rey Network reached more homes than Dis- than uh, Destination America, then we could say that Lucha Underground is the number two promotion in America, right? Isn't that? I guess that's how you base it, right? If if the company can reach more homes as far as like eyes on the television then that would be the number two right because el rey is still like a weird network it el rey is kind of in the same boat as destination america it's just a weird network that came out of nowhere but now wrestling's on it so i'm going to tune in i yeah i don't know i mean i I, at this point i think i think lucha underground and tna are going to be their own competition towards each other i don't think either of them are going to hold a candle to wwe I think WWE is just at that point where, you know, they, they can do no wrong. They can do whatever they want. Um, so, I don't know. This might be kind of something interesting between Lucha Underground and TNA. Maybe they can, like I said, be their own competition. And I, I don't know which which uh, channel is going to reach out to more people. I guess that's just going to be whichever one can put on a more entertaining product. And honestly, right now, watching the first couple episodes of Lucha Underground, I, I love that. I, I think they can do no wrong. Yeah, I I don't know. It, it, it's going to be very interesting. We'll see where TNA goes. Uh, it's kind of cool to see that they got this deal. So I'm assuming they made a deal at least for one year. So we'll see TNA out through the rest of 2015. Hopefully this is something that we can uh, see in the future. Maybe Destination America is going to grow off of it. Maybe it's a great place for TNA. I don't know. I am excited that they got renewed. I know a lot of people wanted TNA to die, which I kind of was at one point. But I'm also for the fact where... More wrestling is better if you have mm-hmm. wrestling on television. More more people can see it, and then the whole wrestling product as a whole will grow, and it'll be a better, better thing. I don't know. Any final thoughts on this? You know, I I, I hope, like you said, I I I don't I don't want TNA to to die. I hope this actually brings them back and uh, gives them some more inner energy. Um, I hope that they don't mess this deal up. I hope they. Uh, concentrate and go back to their old ways where they where they were telling the stories with their wrestling match and i mean that was a problem with tna that i in the last few episodes i watched where it was it was 70 percent talking and 30 percent wrestling um i think they need to flop that around it needs to be 70 percent wrestling 30 percent talking and i they have the athletes to put on these high caliber matches yeah i think i think that's where their strength is just Instead of be WWE light, be TNA heavy. That's the way to do it. And I'm going to tune in just to see if, you know, they've drastically changed their product, but I don't think it's going to change. I don't know. Maybe Spike TV had a whole hand in how they produce their television, and maybe they can go more edgier with De- Discover America. I don't even know. I, I don't think that's going to be the way it goes. I Destination think, I think they're going to have to be just as uh, watered down and uh, careful with their things they're doing just like wwe is uh with uh, being on usa network but i don't know it, time will tell I, I i'm not expecting them to on their first show knock knock it out of the ballpark but i think over a couple months i think they'll build on something and hopefully it's something good and something that wrestling fans can enjoy and something they can provide something that wrestling fans have been missing and go back to the old ways that's the way. Just be the alternative to WWE. Don't try and be another version of WWE. Don't try to compete with them because you're not going to do it. <laughs> people are going to watch WWE regardless of... It's just WWE. People watch it. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think TNA is going to flourish now that they are on a new network? Or do you think this is a doomsday for TNA since they took a, a weird deal on a weird network that we'll never s- probably <laughs> ever see? But... Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. As always, hit that like button if you enjoy this. You want to sign us out? Nope. All right. Jack. Is your name Jack? I think your name's Jack. I don't know what gimmick I'm going by now. Well, yeah. We weren't going to go with my Jack gimmick, but 
uh, right out of the gate, she had called me Jack, so I just went with it. So I guess I'm uh, Jack Lubash. Jack and all. <laughs> hey, I can say that here. You can, yeah, because so, we're not censored. So for Tony the Pizza Guy. Tony Pizza Guy, not Tony the Pizza Guy. There's a difference. There's okay. no the in my name. Okay. Tony Pizza Guy. Thank you. Okay, for Tony Pizza Guy, <laughs> I'm Jack Lubash, and I'm jacking off. 